What's up, everybody? Welcome to PC Addicts. I'm Chris Davis, and I'll be your host and your guide as we find a cheap solution to restoring a CD or DVD with typical household products. Back in January 2010, I posted a video showing you how to restore a disc using nothing more than peanut butter and a coffee filter. Since the video was posted, I've received both good and bad feedback on that video. It, in fact, actually ended up being on the news as a possible bust um, as far as did it really work or not. The reason I'm revisiting this topic here is because this past weekend I needed to install Windows 7 on this laptop that's sitting next to me and I tried four times only to receive an error message each and every time. I ended up flipping the disc over and I realized how bad the actual surface was so I figured you know what I need to try to clean this thing so let's see if I can clean it and, um, and at least get it working enough to install it. So I thought it'd be a perfect time to try to shoot this video again and see if um, my method will work or my new method will work. So I thought I would compare a few different typical household products that you may have laying around the house that each contain a tiny bit of abrasiveness, um, enough to help buff out any defects and, and scratches on the surface of the disc. I tried peanut butter, toothpaste, and finally car wax. In the beginning I used a coffee filter as like an applicator. But in the end, I would suggest using a soft cloth, like a 100% cotton t-shirt or something. Kind of like what you would use to apply wax on a car. It might be hard to see the difference on camera, but I was far more satisfied with the results of using the car wax. So I decided to buff out the entire disc using only car wax. Close up, the disc looks really good. There's still a few tiny spots that I wasn't able to buff out, but thought I would give the Windows 7 installation another shot. This time, installation completed without any errors. So in closing, if you guys have a CD or a DVD that has a bunch of little scratches and little, little defects, don't be scared to try to get some car wax and 100% and cotton. Try to buff that out a little bit. Um, kind of, I kind of look at it as maybe it's a clear coat on a uh, coat of paint on a car. You know, you got little defects, you can typically buff those out and smooth it out and uh, at least get it to work enough so you can get your data off. As always, I would love to hear from you. Uh, leave your comments and questions below and uh, please share the video.